Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Nassau County, New York, with the frauditor known as Long Island Audit as he attempts to a quote unquote investigate what he calls corruption in that area and in doing so he decides that he wants to go to the police commissioner's house because probably because he doesn't know the exact procedures of getting in contact with the commissioner to begin with but let me tell you something sean this is a really dangerous move you're pulling right here it could have gotten you well, seriously hurt, or even worse. But hell, that's your just your fraud or stupidity working with you right there. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi, Hi Mrs. Ryder. Yeah. Hi, I was. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I was wondering if you had any comment on the allegations that your husband, the commissioner of the police department, Patrick Ryder, oh, is having an affair with Laura. He's having an affair with Laura Curran. He's having an affair with Laura Curran, the former Nassau County executive. What in the hell is the matter with you, dude? Are, would you want somebody coming up to your door and badgering you like this with questions like that? I mean, is it any of their business what you do? And uh, do you have any uh, proof of these allegations? Because uh, that's what you just said they were, allegations. So at this point, you're willing to destroy people's lives to uh, see if the allegations are correct or not? Man, you have sunk into a new low. Can you please get off the property? Sure, ma'am. I just wanted to let you know that your, your husband's under investigation. <laughs> Trying to get to the bottom of it. Trying to investigate. Let's get off the property. Just wondering if she had any comment. We're just trying to get to the bottom of it. I have an inside source that is telling me that there's much more than an affair going on here with the Nassau County Police Commissioner. He is allegedly racist, using racial slurs. I have an inside source in the police department that is feeding me all this information, and we're just trying to get to the bottom of it. How the... Nassau County Police Commissioner is using asset forfeiture to steal people's property and use it for his own benefit. There's a lot of corruption allegations here, ladies and gentlemen, that we're trying to get to the bottom of here. Hey, Sean, have you ever heard of the term innocent until proven guilty? Uh, maybe you should take this to a higher authority if you actually have any of this evidence, because if you are withholding evidence of some nefarious going on within the police department and you will not hand them over to the proper authorities who can investigate this properly well then dude you would be uh held liable for all this and well i'm sure you would face some amount of well justice on your part but please continue on with your uh allegations and stupidity and we we're going to get to the bottom of it hey how are you sir going on today can i get your name and badge number what are you doing here just taking a walk around the block here what are you doing on the here? publicly accessible area sir Bullshit! Bullshit! may i get your name and badge number officer carry badge number 2057 you came in you almost hit me sir I you're very close not even close why are you speeding i'm not a danger to anybody what are you doing here i was just asking some questions of the mrs Ryder here why because I'm working on a story, I'm a journalist, so that's what journalists do. Okay, did she ask you to leave? And I left, that's why I'm here. Okay. She did, okay. and I left, that's why I'm here in the publicly, on the public part. You are? Yeah, exactly. Can I do anything further for you? No, officer, that's okay. fine. I mean, this, does everybody get special treatment like this? This is a figure of the police department. A figure, she's you, a figure of the police her, department? You made her worried. She didn't seem worried. She Doesn't was, matter. She was I, taking pictures I'm of me and... Now. Yeah, that's okay, fine. So I'm going to stay here. But do but I'm going to stay Does here. everybody get personal tre um, yes. preferential treatment like this, sir? Absolutely. If somebody calls 911 and they're in fear. So somebody called 911? Somebody did call 911. Okay. Yep. So why would but why would call 911 over a journalist? I told her my name is Sean. I'm a journalist. Sean, you sure as hell are no journalist because you you see this list of ethics codes that journalists have to adhere to. You violated every single one of them on one occasion or another, and you violated at least two of them on this one. So you need to back the hell off because you are no journalist at all.
matter. If she felt that we needed to be here, then we're going to show up. Oh, that's fine. But there's nothing illegal taking place here, so no one's in there's any... There's not, but I'm yeah. going to hang out. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sure you could hang out okay. all you want. It's One public street. You, you can do whatever you'd like, sir. But is yeah. There, is there a reason that you're here? Yeah, I just told you. I'm an independent journalist. In My name is Sean. In regards to what? I'm working on a story of corruption, corruption. that involves okay. the police com your boss, the okay. police commissioner, Patrick Ryder. Okay. Do you have any comment on the allegations that he is I having no an affair with the former Nassau court. County Executive Laura Curran? No comment. Or that he's targeting people that are on disability, workers' comp? What about the what about the allegations that he is um, racially I have motivated in hiring? Zero opinions of anything while I'm in this uniform. That he's racially. I'm not even going to speak have you to heard you. him? Have you heard him use racial slurs before, officer? So here's the deal. I'm, I'm asking questions. I'm not going to speak to you further. That's fine. I'm going to hang out. There's no reason for you, you can't to speak to me. Foot traffic. And oh sure, I walk back and forth. Traffic. Yeah, no problem, sir. Okay. No problem. All right. Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. You can let her know that I'm not a danger to her in any way. If she's worried about that. Well, Sean, I can believe that considering the last time you were in prison, you were uh, put into protective custody because you have no ability to fight whatsoever. I mean, you suck. Uh, you know who I am, and there's no need to worry here. Do you have ID? Oh, I only hand over ID unless I've committed a crime, sir. Wow. So, this law enforcement officer here arrived really fast. Yeah, Sean. How do we know that? Because, well, you put a jump cut in there, so who knows how much time passed between your meeting with the lady inside and when the officer showed up. So, yeah, with that jump cut right there and, uh... With your propensity for outright lies? Yeah, I would uh, say your uh, story right there is, well, dubious at best. Car 4211. Lights and sirens. Well, uh, let's just go ahead and skip to the part where he gets pretty much removed from the property be and because everything from here on out is just him repeating the same allegations over and over again and trying to get the officers to spill the beans on something that may or may not be happening within their department. I mean, if he would go through the proper channels with this uh, so-called evidence, maybe he would get something done. But let's just go ahead and skip to the end, shall we? Here's the deal. I just want to make out. I don't want to yep. block anybody's driveway. No sure. So, Commissioner's wife said she asked you to leave. She shut the door. And I left. Okay. We still need... Do you have on video you leaving the house? Well, she has a ring camera, sir. She does. It didn't capture you walking away or staying. It, I, I just looked at it. How does it not capture that? It. I don't know. Do you have video footage? Did she tell you that I left? She didn't see. So I'm she looking, didn't see? I'm looking to well, I don't have to. I, I'm going to exercise my right to remain okay, silent. I don't have to prove I anything. I am going to need ID from you, though. I didn't break any laws. You were possibly trespassing. Possibly and we're looking, trespassing. And we're looking, but you know who I am. I don't know who you are. I have no idea who you are. Okay. So I need ID. So I, I don't, can confirm. I don't have any. There's You've no arrested me. No. You've arrested me a couple weeks ago. I did not arrest you. I'm not you, but your department. Okay, that's I'm fine. not breaking any laws. That's if, fine. Well, you, will you arrest me if I don't identify myself? I'm not going to arrest you if okay, you don't great. identify yourself. Oh, wait, so I don't want to. I want to remain silent. I want to exercise my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I really... She didn't answer my question. You got here really quick. I I'm on my way. Quick. I'm on my way. I don't have anything else. I'm not standing outside somebody's house. I was just asking her a question based on the allegations of Do corruption. You have identification on you? Sir, I don't, and I don't give it up unless I've broken the law, sir. I haven't broken any laws. I'm here exercising in a constitutional protected activity. I'm just asking questions of my government. That's all. There's some al serious allegations against your police commissioner. Serious allegations that I'm getting from a reliable source inside of your department. They're going to come forward. It's a whistleblower, sir, and I'm just asking questions. Who are you asking questions to? There's nobody here except for us. Well, I was asking questions to... I, I was hoping um, Patrick Ryder was here so I can ask him some questions, but his wife answered the door. So I asked her a question. She said no soliciting. She said, leave the property, and I came onto the sidewalk, which is where the officer here found me when I when he arrived, seconds later. Okay, so if no 
one's gonna speak to you, then I just said I'm on my way. I have okay. nothing. I have nothing else here. No uh, one's gonna speak to me. Here, so that's why I'm asking. Oh yeah. Do you mind if I get your name and badge number, sir? Sergeant Soto, two one one. Sergeant Soto. Yeah. No, I'm not. My my. I know I can stand out here, but that's not my goal. I was. Okay. I wanted to speak with the commissioner, and his wife answered the door, and I just asked her a question. That was all. Okay. And I left. Okay. All right. Yep. So I'm gonna be going. Okay. Thank you. All right. You too, sir. Take care. Stay safe out there, right? Take care. Bye. Have a great day. I hope you guys act this way with every member of the public and protect and serve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve law enforcement officers for a man with a camera. Oh, come on now, Sean. It had nothing to do with the camera in this case. You came onto this woman's property to ask her questions about her husband that, well, quite frankly, should be left up to those who actually can investigate these things rather than you going up to the door and badgering this poor woman. I mean, what kind of a monster are you, Sean? Oh, wait, I forgot you're a damn miserable little toad of a frauditor. That's who you are. Maybe this will catch up and bite you in the ass one day for what you've been doing to these people, but one can only hope. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.